Well, hi, welcome to my channel. I've been trying to film this video the whole afternoon. My dog does not stop playing. And I try to lure her into coming on a chair and like kind of chill out a bit. And also our neighbors are super like noisy. I don't even know what's going on. But if I keep delaying this, I will never film this video. So we're doing it. This is my dog. This is Aria. She is the best dog in the world, but she is crazy right now. I hope it's not that distracting. Uh, I guess she will fall asleep at some point. And also she's a French bulldog, so she does make a lot of noises. Um, so if you're hearing something weird, probably it comes from her, but you know, hope you don't mind. I decided to do a bit of uh, haul today, shopping haul. If you know me in real life, you know I love secondhand shopping, I love thrifting. Uh, I actually have been doing secondhand shopping for the past, I don't know, 10 years, honestly, 9, 10 years. Right now, that's the main place I look out for clothes. I find myself, like, I do love shopping and I love fashion and I love clothes. So I find that a lot of the pieces I wear, I get tired of pretty easily. So it's just not reasonable to buy something that will cost me, let's say 50, 60, 80 bucks and then wear it just for one year or give this amount of money and then the thing just falls apart, you know, after one wash. Cause that's usually what happens from with clothes from Zara and other fast fashion stores. I truly believe that it's way better to do, uh, to shop secondhand. And you can find some pretty good pieces. I will show you in a bit. Uh, I think all my clothes, if not most, if not all, just 90% of them are brand new as to have the tags on. And I will also let you know how much I paid for them. I will show you what I decided to keep first and then I will show you what I decide to return. So I have my phone with me so I can tell you how much everything costs and I'm not gonna do a try on haul right now. Uh, maybe I will do it later. So if I do it, I will definitely put some videos of me trying things on. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is Super Y2K um, and I've been wanting one of these track suits for quite some time. Uh, I wanted to get the Juicy Couture one, but they're expensive. So I found this. I don't know if you can see the color. It's like this baby blue. It's by Adidas, Adidas, however you want to say it. It still has a tag on, brand new. Look at it. It goes wider at the bottom and it has these, I don't know if you can see, yeah. It has these um, embellishments. What are they called? Like these, you know, you can see the spark things. Um, and it says Adidas at the side. And also it has this, where is it? Okay. It's not uh, this plush material, like this velvety material that the Juicy Couture tracksuit is, but it's still pretty soft and it looks great on. Uh, I will. Yeah, I would definitely do a try on, honestly. I, now that I've thought about it, I would definitely do a try on the whole. Uh, because I wanted to show you, because it looks so good on. It looks so good on. And I love the color. I don't think I have anything in this color. Uh, I'm not a very colorful person when it comes to my wardrobe, but I'm getting into it. I think I will wear this a lot, especially during the spring. And I paid 25 leva, which in dollars it should be like I don't know like maybe fifteen dollars something like that the next thing I got is again by Adidas I actually got a lot of Adidas stuff but are it, it's a bit weird honestly but there are these fluffy shorts again still has a tag on they look a bit weird look a bit funky I don't know if you can see the material it's like this 
towel material they are super soft like obviously they're not made for working out the same goes for the for the tracksuit i think just for lounging or going out just you know for a walk or something they might be cute my boyfriend loved them i thought actually he would not i thought he would hate them because they're a bit weird again but he loved them and they look really nice i think they are a bit different like the material makes them a bit different and more unique so this is definitely something i'm excited about let's see how much i paid for them oh so these were 18 leva which is around for like ten dollars nine dollars something like that the third thing i got is actually another pair of shorts by adidas again and they're probably i don't want to say my favorite out of uh, all of the things i got but one of my favorite because like they look so good on they are these like this hot pink color again they still have the tag on never been worn and they are in this uh boy shorts type of style i've been looking for a pair like that for quite some time i do love pink even though i don't really wear pink a lot but i do love pink and i've been looking for uh boy shorts uh for quite some time and i actually love how these fit this fit amazing they don't look like it does not look like i'm wearing my boyfriend's shorts but it still looks a bit more edgy and a bit more street stylish i guess they're super soft and i would definitely wear the shit out of them and they were still as well i think i paid 23 level which is like 14 13 13 dollars 14 dollars also i will try to find everything online uh if i can uh, probably this is not this is like an old collection or something i don't know uh i guess so but if i can i will try to find everything and link everything down below so um maybe if you like something you can go get it and then we go to the biggest deal out of this whole haul which is this gym shark crop top like um sports top and if if i tell you how much i paid for this you will die the website that i shop from uh, I will link it down below also it's available in Bulgaria I think in Romania as well but um, they also have like they're owned by this big US store secondhand store website whatever it's called ThreadUp uh, the American version I will link down below so if you're from America if you're from the US you can go and check it out I guess they will have probably similar stuff there as well this look i don't know if you if it will focus okay it it's like perfectly like intact it does not it's not worn it doesn't fade out it says gymshark here as well yeah and it has these like openings in the back actually i bought uh another whole set from this particular collection I don't remember the name of the collection i think it's an old one because i bought my set back in 2019 i think uh, the camo collection i guess i will check it out but i have this whole set in green and i didn't realize this shirt was by Jim Shark because on the website it just said women's sports shirt or sports top or whatever one thing about this website is they don't know a lot about these you know cool sports brands like let's say gymshark owner active stuff like that they don't really know them so they don't know the brand somebody cut the tag off and they didn't know and they just linked it as a woman's shirt which is why they charged so so less like i literally paid seven level which is like three dollars yeah i think i paid 728 which is like three dollars i paid three dollars for this Gymshark top and I don't know like it's not gonna show it doesn't have a tag on but I can tell it's never been worn like it's like just the material and like the logo and everything it looks intact it looks perfect I don't think it's ever been worn it's honestly such a steal I'm so happy also to go with it I actually found this 
pair of leggings which are not by Gymshark but they do have this camo print and they are really really nice quality I don't know if you can if you can tell they are this really nice ripped not even ripped but they're just good quality and they also have the tags on they are by a brand called Spanx they're not the most like booty enhancement leggings I don't know how to say it but you know, I think you get what I mean they're not the most like flattering on the butt but they're not also the most not flattering they're made out of this particular material that um, melts to your body form also my dog just started snoring so yeah sorry about that hope you don't you can't hear her they're not the perfect match like I don't know if you can tell they're not the perfect match but they do match and they look really good on I paid a bit more but for these I paid 24 level which is like 15 14 dollars 14 dollars something like that still think they're great and again they're brand new so I basically wear leggings every single day like in the morning in the evening sometimes twice a day when I work out so I would definitely get a lot of wear out of them and I still think they were a steal and now we're on to the pieces that I'm not gonna keep I will tell you why when I show each item and the first thing is this hoodie is this neon pink hoodie uh, I really wanted to get one of these I love big hoodies first of all I look I love oversized hoodies why I'm returning this it's because it's such poor quality it's super thin you can't really tell I can't really show you but it's super super thin it has this cool design in the back I don't know if you can see so honestly I'm still thinking about keeping it right now because I think it's super cool and I'm trying to be a bit more colorful but I don't know it's just super thin yeah I will return this because let me tell you something even if something's really cheap my advice to you is to not buy things that are not good quality because like at the end of the day first of all these things are not good for nature they're not good for the environment they're not good for your pocket they're not good for your budget it was 15 level which is like eight eight fifty dollars something like that so cheap but yeah it's cheap quality too so i'm not gonna keep this the next item i'm gonna return is super trendy right now which is why i've been trying to get one of these i'm not particularly a big cheetah fan but i think in the right like with the right styling it looks really nice honestly i've tried a few so far and they just don't look good on me i just i cannot take myself seriously with these they look great on some other people i have some of my best fashion influencers wear them and they look great on them but they just don't really look good on me so i will return these these were super cheap these were like i think like seven level or something let me just see 760 which is like again three dollars something like that they don't look bad like look they have this darker cheetah print and they actually look good on like like your booty and your body everything looks good but i just cannot see myself wearing them they don't have the tag on but i think they haven't been worn much i'm really sad to be returning these um these are these satin cargo pants from zara i've seen them everywhere not recently but i think last year or like actually in the last maybe two or three years i've seen them everywhere um on pinterest they're not high-waisted they're kind of like a mid-waist and look a bit more baggy which i love this is definitely my style but it just looks a bit weird when i'm walking it looks like i have something there which i don't obviously so <laughs> it's just not a I don't know it just, it just looks weird other than that they look really really nice on they look really well on the butt which is like weird for baggy pants i mean not weird but it's like a rare occasion they're white and baggy and they're nice and they were cheap <laughs> so it was like 13 level which is like 
six dollars something like that i'm really sad to be returning these uh, these are this white shorts they have this details at the bottom and they look really really beautiful like they are really beautiful i was scared that they're gonna be see-through but they're not but the bad thing is they are apparently extra small well they're not they're like large or something because i wear extra small and they're huge on me and they have the tag on they are by peppa jeans so they were 17.90 which is like eight dollars um i think and they look really cute but they're huge on me so i'm still debating on whether should i whether i should keep them and uh, get them fixed like tailored or if i should return them still thinking about it so we'll see i don't know i ordered another sports related thing it's this h&m like uh, zip up it does not have the tag on but it looks brand new it feels brand new to me um it has these details i don't know if you can really see them can you i don't know it doesn't want to focus but it has these details all over that i in my opinion it just makes it feel cheap not feel look cheap and on the website i didn't really see them it does look good like form wise it's quite fitting uh tight fitting 25 level which is like 12 dollars something like that is it yeah it should be 12 dollars something i'm really sad to be returning this last piece because i've been looking for something like that for quite some time is this black trench coat i won't be able to show you the whole thing obviously let me see if i can kind of show you yeah you can't really tell um it's a black trench coat <laughs> it's pretty long um and i really like the like the design it has these kind of like pockets and it, it just looks really nice but it's just not I guess I don't know if it's the particular style or it's just a trench coat in general but it just not doesn't look good on me honestly however my mom wears a lot of trench coats so I will get her to try it um, and if it fits and if she likes it she can take it um, it's a bit huge it's a bit oversized again it still has a tag on it's by mango i paid 70 level for it which a bit pricey uh but keeping in mind that it still has a tag on brand new and also a lot of the trench coats i've seen are like 800 bucks plus i think 70 level which is like 30 dollars i think it's pretty i think it's fine um again i love i love the design i love the trench coat in general it just doesn't look good on me at least it doesn't look like i envisioned it so so that was it it's getting late it's getting dark you've probably noticed that the lighting has changed still thinking about the shorts though but yeah i will probably end up returning these because it will cost me probably the same price to get them tailored i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you also kind of got inspired to shop secondhand and to try out thrifting i think as you've seen you can get and you can find some pretty cool pieces honestly it's a win-win for everyone for the planet for your budget for everyone so try it out i will link the website that i use if you're from bulgaria um and i will also you i will also link the american version of it um if you're from the us so yeah also, if you know any other websites that are uh, offering secondhand, thrifted, outlet stuff, um, send them to me. Like, leave a comment down below or you can DM me, uh, whatever you want. I'm going to link all of my social media down below. So feel free to follow me. Uh, feel free to leave me a message. I would love to chat with you. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.